Shuffling forward, my mind is on fire. So many emotions for one 11 year old boy. I can't lose somebody so close yet. She's there, at the end of the ward. Her powerful eyes are still open. Her heart, which is the same as mine, broken with stress and fear, makes all of her be surrounded by beeps, sporadically spurting from her heart monitor. I hold her hand. It was cold and dead. You'll be fine, I lie, but I know I'm just tricking yourself. When I, when this is over, I promise I'll talk to you every day, Gran. You can tell me everything you've ever been through. Promise. As soon as I had made that promise, I felt a strange tug on the hand which I was holding my grandmother's with. All I saw was a flash of green light, then an ethereal purple. I felt myself being tossed and turned, howling winds roared like a bear. Thud, I hit the ground. Where am I? Quickly, looking up, I spot thousands of workers. A sign read, Ransom and Miles, Ammunition and Other. I know that name. It's the factory in Newark that was bombed. Underneath it says, 1942. Uh-oh. Suddenly a siren sounded. I am overwhelmed. A few minutes ago I was talking to my dying grandmother. I ran. I saw a girl with green eyes. I decided to follow her. I was obl oblivious to the screens which filled the tents there. There, a bomb, falling straight towards the girl. Grabbing her, I pulled her away, just before the bomb hit. The bang deafened me in my right ear. I panicked. It felt so weird. I just couldn't hear with it. Luckily, I could still use the other. You saved me, she said. How can I ever repay you? Her green eyes seemed to glow. I don't know. Wait, you're Hilary Grain, my grandmother. With the sudden realisation, I was pulled back into my real world. My right ear was throbbing, but luckily I could still hear. And you're Thomas Crane, my grandmother said. Then she drifted away.